Adding the right sound effects to your game can make or break the experience. The frustrating part of this is that when you get your sound just right, most of the time players won't even notice it. But if you get it wrong, they certainly will. Today I'm going to show you how to set up some very easy sound animations using Bolt Visual Scripting. I'm going to be using animation events, so if you're not sure how to set one of these up, I would strongly recommend going to my channel and checking out my video on animation events. Today I'm going to be using several sound effects that I got from Audio Jungle. Unfortunately, I can't share these with you since they weren't free and you're going to have to go find your own. But instead of finding a walking sound that has a bunch of footsteps in it, I would highly recommend getting six or seven individual walking on grass sounds that sound very similar but are distinct from one another. For example, So all of these are very similar, but they are distinct. And I'm going to show you how to set up Bolt where you can trigger these randomly, which gives you a very nice walking sound effect. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go over here to your hierarchy, and you're going to want to create a sound manager. This is just going to help us keep things nice and neat. So go ahead and create an empty game object. You're going to name that Sound Manager. And then going over here to the right, we're going to give this a flow machine. And we're also going to give it an audio component, so an audio source right here. And uh, going right up here, let's set this to embed. And so we can just put our uh, macro right inside of that object. And right over here under variables, let's call this list walk sound. We're going to make a, a new variable, call it walk sound. We're going to go find an AOT list. And then what we're going to do on each one of these items is we're going to click this five times. One, two, three, four, five, I'm sorry, six times. Then we're going to get a sound effect or an audio clip on each one of those. And then we're going to, so let's go ahead and do that real quick, audio clip. Okay, now that we have all those selected, let's go and find each one of our objects here. So I'm just going to do this one at a time, click all six of these. The next thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and give the sound manager a tag so that we can find it if we call it from somewhere else. I went ahead and added a new tag called sound manager. The way that you do that is you just go right over here and you click the plus sign and just type in sound manager. So what I'm going to do is click sound manager and I'm going to give it the appropriate tag. And then I'm going to go into my, my player game object. And in the last uh, video that I did about uh, animation events, I just went ahead and set up two very quick um, animation triggers every time he took a step and I named them step um, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into my barbarian game object and I'm just gonna right click and I'm going to type animation event and it's going to be a named event and I'm gonna type in step because that's what I named my triggers so that every time it takes a step it's going to fire this object then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a custom event to um, to call that off of my sound manager so trigger custom event and then uh, let's just call it walk. So let's see, walk. And uh, for that game object, we need to find with tag. So I'm going to game object, object, find with tag. So there's the tag there. And then I'm going to select that sound manager. So I'm going to go and look for the object that has the tag sound manager. So now going into my sound manager, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that custom event that I triggered uh, called walk. So I'm going to do that and say every time that walk custom event is fired, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to play a one shot on the audio source. So play one shot and it's going to play a clip and it's going to do it on itself. Uh, and so what I need to do now is I need to drag in this list so that it's going to pull it in from the walk sound list. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get item on that list and so get list item and instead of telling it exactly which one I want it to fire I want this to kind of be random and so the way that I'm going to do that I'm just gonna run that right up here into clip the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna type in random range and it's got a min and a max and because there are six items on the list and it starts at zero so zero one two three four five that's six numbers so uh, I'm gonna type in the number five down here and now whenever we play our uh, animation, it should, off of our Barbarian, trigger the sound effect on our sound manager. Let's see if it worked. 
Okay, the reason that didn't work is because this is case sensitive. You need to make sure that you know how to spell before you start trying to make games. Sound manager, make sure that actually matches the tag up here. And so now we should see that this actually works whenever we fire uh, those animation events. Let's see. All right, there we go. So now you know how to trigger random sound effects that are timed perfectly with your animation. Hopefully this was helpful for you. My name is Megahertz, and I'm out.